What's up guys? Once again, you are watching Papi Jolo and ayun guys, makita nyo naka-uniform pa ako. Kagaling ko lang ng trabaho and this is the day we've been waiting for. Ito na yun. Ito na yun. Ito na. So ayun guys, ito na yung araw na i-hatch natin or i-morph natin yung pinakaunang axis na bilhin natin which is si Papi Uno. So let me introduce to you Papi Uno. So ito guys, makita nyo kabubukas ko lang ng laptop. Hindi pa actually siya na-update. So let's press F5. Ayun. So, ito, ito na siya guys. May kita natin. Ito yung parents niya na may 3 breed count. And then, this one also has 3 breed count. And then, ayun nga. Yung kagaya nga na sinabi ko nung last time, meron siyang health na 59, 34, 46, and then 77. So, yung isa, hindi nag-load. Medyo, medyo may problema yung... Ewan ko, naglolo ko siya lately. But, ayun. Uh, this one is 77% purity and this one is 75. So, ayun guys. Bago natin siya i-hatch, yung breed simulator natin siya para makita nyo rin kung paano ko inisip what made me decide na na bilhin to over a lot of eggs na binebenta. Bukod sa mura siya and mayroon din siya reason. So, makikita natin sa Axie Zone Breeding Simulator. All you have to do is type nyo lang yung, yung Axie number ng uh, parents niya. So, this one is 905025. 905025. So, already na-type ko na siya. And then, the other one is 1458830. So, in, sa una, hindi lalabas to. But, click nyo yung toggle odds. Ayan. So, makikita natin yung mga possible na body parts na pwede niyang pakuha. So, may natin sa ice. So, sure ball na sure ball siya na, na plant yung makukuha natin which is factor din kasi even though walang card store, this contributes sa kanyang stats. The more na meron kang plant parts, the more natataas syempre yung health natin. Sure na to sa ice. And then, this one is almost certainly a lock dun sa ears niya. And then, sa mouth naman, the same din. This one is serious. And then, sa horn, naglalaban. Also, parang ganun na rin, na lock na rin na plant yung mga So, 4 out of 6, I'm sure, if, if the odds will play in our favor, 4 out of 6, makukuha natin siya. Actually, not 4 out of 6, 5 out of 6. Kasi ka, yung back, ganun din, which is pumpkin, shiitake, mint, and last yung sponge. And then, this one naman, front running ang beach cactus. Leafbug and arco, both combined 6% 6, 6 chance. And then, sa tail naman, doon lang nagkatalo sa tail, which is nauguna yung shrimp with 75% but malay mo mag work 9% i-hot but mag pure 6 parts tayo na plant type what we have to do is for me ang ginagawa ko dito is simulate ko siya so breed natin siya 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 uh, 10 times so bakit 10 times for me 10 times ginagawa ko kasi gusto ko makita yung probability out of 10 tries Mas madali siya i-calculate yung ilan yung percentage na makakuha tayo ng magandang axi. So, makikita naman natin dito. First, first try natin, 5 out, 5 out of 6. Second try, 5 out of 6. Third try, 6 out of 6. Fourth try, 5 out of 6. 5 out of 6. 5 out of 6. 5 out of 6. 4 out of 6. 4 out of 6. And then, uh, 4 out of 6. So, malaki yung chance talaga na mostly madominate ng plant parts. Especially itong 5 point, 5 5 out of 6 na to. And uh, makikita natin, meron tayo dito ang Metascore. This Metascore that does not decide kung maganda ba yung axi mo or what at nakakadepende pa rin yan sa atin sa naglalaro at sa mga mga kalaban natin kasi kahit naman anong ganda ng axi mo kung kalaban mo naman is directly counter sa'yo wala din, di ba? So, or if maganda yung axi natin hindi naman natin magamit ng maayos hindi natin masinergize hindi natin napag-aralan kung ano yung skills nila so, bali-wala pa rin so, ayun, may kita sa metascore 3 out of 10 decent, 30% chance na makakuha tayo ng decent na axi mayroon tayong 40% naman makakuha tayo ng, ng good axi and then 30% also na makuha tayo ng excellent. So this means na 70% makakuha tayo ng above average na axi. Next naman na, gina na ginagawa ko is syempre first time ko na mag-axi. So wala talaga akong alam sa cards. So everything na sinasabi ko dito like for example itong mga parts, parts ko yung knowledge ko about it is about mga na-research ko lang din. So upon watching videos, a lot of videos actually. So this is one week in the making. Not really one week, maybe more than. No, no, no. One week. One week in the making bago ko na naipon yung knowledge ko dito and I believe it's still not enough kasi ang dami pati bagay na kalito especially pagdating sa cards kasi nga sobrang daming cards so ang hirap kami sa duhin ang hirap isa-isa yan lalo na yung parts is different sa pangalan ng cards so what I would do is I would open this one axiworld.com so this one is a card explorer so pwede natin makita lahat ng, lahat ng cards so instead of filtering by text by uh, lalagyan natin kung, kung anong class anong part type anong blah 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 whatsoever let's just click control F bakit press F kasi sobrang dami nyan may iba iba pa yan merong aqua merong beast and sa lahat pasok yan and, and remember na hindi naman pure yung ating game build with so 77-75% pure lang siya so meron pa rin tayo mga ma-encounter na ibang body parts na hindi natin makita 
So, syempre, para mas madali, all we have to do is type lang natin Sirius. So, by click natin, ito yung possible na makuha natin speed 1 energy from your opponent when comboed with another card. So, energy and then combo siya. So, so I guess not bad. And then, tignan natin ngayon yung sa horn, which is yung beach. So, let's type beach. So, yan. Wooden stab, deal 120% damage if this axis shield Break. So, okay then High damage siya and then plus 120 from breaking shield. So, if itong axe na to is magiging frontline, so most likely tatamaan ng damage to it. Okay, break nga yung shield niya. And, ayun, magdi-deal siya ng 120% damage. Cactus. Check natin. So, so this one. Trickly trap. Deal 120 damage if this axe attacks last. So, yun nga. Gaya na sinasabi natin, this axe is plant type. And plant type na... Na based on my research, plant type na matataas ang purity is mataas ang kanilang health pero mababa yung kanilang speed. So, most likely, last din na-attack ito, mataas din yung possibility na ganun gaya mangyari. So, 120% damage so, and high damage din siya. Pero, so, hindi na rin masama. So, ito yung dalawang sa horns na, na front runners natin with 56 and 37% respectively. And then, sa back naman is pumpkin. Pumpkin. So, search natin. So, yan. October 3rd. So, draw a card if this axis shield does not break this round. So, ayun, draw a card if hindi ba break your shield. Eh. So, magandang defensive item to, I guess. Since, I guess kasi ka, hindi ko pa nalalago. So, hindi ko pa na try. So, everything here is based on the first timer's perspective, guys. So, ayun, tignan natin ito, Shitake. Tama ba? Shitake. So, Shroom's Grace, heal this axis for 120 HP. So, another support item. Support item siya. So, okay na rin. Hindi na rin masama. Whichever is makuha natin. Not bad. So, ito naman. Tingnan natin yung shrimp and yung hot box. So, first is yung shrimp. So, this one is an aqua card. So, melee. Cheating jump. So, it cost 1 dir one dirham. 1 energy. Priorita prior prioritizes the fur furthest target. So, okay siya, no, guys? Bakit siya naging okay? Kasi given the fact nga na, guys, na eto mga pass na nakita natin which is yung beach and yung cactus may possibility makakuha tayo ng high damage card and na mayroong 120% damage if makuha natin yung kanilang stipulation so ayun malaki yung possibility na makakuha tayo ng backdoor and uh, mataas damage plus yung ito pa yung serious natin na uh, still 1 energy for opponent when combo with another card so let's say we playing those 3 cards so mag para sa akin okay so all in all okay siya sa akin so, hindi ko pinagsisihan na binili ko itong Axie na to for 0.18 Arap Ethereum. And, uh, ayun, let's see if may, may tumama dito sa, sa 10 na si simulations natin. So, without further ado, let's morph it. So, ito na guys. Ah, excited na ako. So, i-morph na natin siya. So, click natin yung Morph Adult. So, please, wag po kong, wag po kong i-down. Sobrang excited ko para sa'yo. Hindi ako nag-BS. Diretso content tayo. So, don't bring me down, please. So, ayan. Pag, pag mag, mag morph tayo, ay eh, magpa-pop up na something from Ronin. So, signature request. So, ayan. Let's click uh, confirm. Morphing. So, antay lang natin siya, guys. Actually, gusto kong i-check kung nag-record siya. Nag-record siya. So, wala tayong problema. Waiting. Morphing. Let's see what we will get. Your morph is still being processed. This might take some time. Thanks for your patience. Don't worry, I'll be patient. Wala problema. Hindi pa natin kilik yung okay. And then guys, fast forward to the future. Nagkaroon na naman ng problema yung ating recording and nagkaroon din ang problema yung ating taxi dahil hindi siya nag-morph overnight so we had to wait. But the wait is over so ito na yung ating first ever Axie, we have our Axie, there we go, Papi Uno. So, ito si Papi Uno, guys. I like his color. Gusto ko yung overall yung look niya. Ang cute. Saka siyang inaantok. <laughs> but, the more important thing is this one. Papi Uno is a plant with a zero breed count na yun nga yung sasabi ko advantage ng Axies that come from eggs. So, ayun. And, check natin yung stats. So, ito yung stats na ngayon. Meron siyang health na 59. Speed of 34, skill 31, moral 40. So with this one, I'll guess, marami tayo nakuhang plant part. Let's check that body parts. We have the Pocky, Lotus, 
for the eyes and ears respectively we have the shiitake i believe this one is the kiwi card and the serious yung um steel energy card so nakuha natin yun and we have the beach and the shrimp sayang 5 out of 6 but still not bad for our first ever accident ng galing sa and yun nga reminder for us na we don't always get what we want but still this is within our expectation so ayun nga kagaya nga sinabi natin guys na pros and cons ng pagbili ng axi eggs is yun nga first mas mura second grade count is zero but the con is we don't always get what we want so sometimes nakakuha ka ng within your expectations sometimes sobrang layo sa expectations or sometimes ito na tweet lang na onte kagaya nga ng nangyari dito sa Papi Uno na within our expectations so ayun ito yung cards na nakuha natin but this is different for our second and third axi na morph natin. So, namorph na rin natin sila. This one is Papi Dose. So, now, we have Papi Dose na may 65 health, 35 speed, 31 skill, 43 moral. And, yun nga, yung body parts niya is Confuse, Lotus, Fry Feather, Serious, Beach. And this one was the one that surprised me is yung hair. So, I was expecting na 5 out of 6 din siya, but just 4 out of 6, but still not bad because this one, itong hair na to, it's a high damage card, so this one will be our mid axi. So, meron siyang two high damage cards, the wooden stab and the hair dagger, na meron 105 and 120 damage respectively, and meron tayong zero energy card na 35 damage, and if meron tong debuff, it will attack twice. And also, meron tayong steel energy card, so, still, medyo palayo lang, medyo, I mean, medyo nalayo lang ng onti lang naman, onti lang Natin. And last but not the least, our third Axi Papi Press. This one is our Beast Class Axi with 0 grade count, 37 health, 39 speed, 31 skill, and 57 morale. So, ito yung body parts na kuha natin sa Chubby and the Minion for the Ice and Ears. The Bidens na hindi ko na-expect to actually Nutcracker. Sobre short kick na somehow ina-expect ina ko na rin makuha nung sinecheck ko siya. But still, I was hoping na mag-trigger yung mas maliit na percentage sa chance yung isang card, which was, I think that was Ronin. Tama ba? Ronin Burn or Imp? Which one was the horn for the beast? Ronin or Imp, I think. I'm not sure, pero yun. Makuha pa rin natin Strawberry Shortcake and yung hair. I don't know about the Strawberry Shortcake kung paano natin i-handle ko pa rin sa arena and sa PVE. But I've been watching a lot of videos and reading about this one na uh, nasa last lagi siya ng, ng tier list pagdating sa cards and nakuha pa natin siya sa ating backliner which we needed damage sana but still we have we have a zero energy card na dispel ng debuff and we have the nutcracker the dalawang nutcracker will have will deal 120% damage strawberry shortcake heal your front teammate for 270 HP or i-heal niya sa heal niya this one costs 2 energy so medyo masakit and 0 attack 0 defense if only yung defense niya is meron let's say for example 50 pwede sana eh pero yun uh, uh. and then also we have the hair so we have 2 high damage cards same as the one na, na nasa middle natin bummer na hindi natin nakuha yung isa pa sana na high damage din pero let's see how we can make this strawberry shortcake card work pagdating sa PVA pagdating sa arena so that is our axis guys we have Papi Uno, Papi Dos, Papi Tres so kompleto na yung ating team the plant, plant and beast so ikita natin how this build will play out pagdating sa arena and also especially sa PVE kasi dun muna tayo mag-focus at our first 2 weeks ng Axie journey natin and for the next contents din guys we will try to record yung walkthroughs ng bawat stages sa uh, adventure mode and we try din natin mag-record ng ating gameplays pagdating sa arena naman maybe we can analyze some things kung, kung paano natin maybe meron tayong mga makalaban na super lakas ng team nila pero magawa natin matalo or alam din yung mga times na panalo na sana tayo pero natalo pa we will try to break down what went wrong for us or maybe what went wrong for the other team or what we did good versus the other team. So, baka ganong breakdowns, ito try natin yan for the next video. So, that's it for this video guys. I hope nakustuhan nyo yung video na to. And, sana na-inspired din kayo na mag 
Builder ng axis starting from egg. First, mas mura. Second, zero bid count. But be ready kasi expect the unexpected. You will not get what you want. Especially pagdating sa body part and sa card. So that's it guys. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Kung nagustuhan nyo itong video na to. If na-inspire kayo na mag-start from axi eggs, please comment down below if you're planning to do so. And for yun, I'll see you in the next video sa ating Axie Infinity series or Axe series dito lang sa aking YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Papi Jolo. Peace out. Let's go.